This is a recording of the presentation of the information that was given, given to grade 10 students as they're entering into their grade 11 year. This is the list of all the graduation requirements that are mandated by the, federal, by the provincial government. Students must successfully complete all these courses by the time they finish grade 12. They must have an English 10, 11, and 12. They must successfully complete these courses. Students must successfully complete socials 10 and 11 or 12, a science 10 and 11 or 12, math 10 and 11 or 12, PE 10 is a graduation requirement, as is Career Life Education 10, Career Life Connections 12A, which is um, delivered in grade 11, and Career Life Connections 12B, and the capstone is delivered in grade 12. Students must successfully complete a fine arts or applied skill course at the grade 10, 11, or 12 level. On top of that, they must complete 28 credits. 12 of those credits must be at the grade 12 level in addition to English Studies 12. Four of those must, be, must contain Indigenous content. Please note that one course is typically worth four credits. In grade 10, students are expected to do the numeracy assessment and the literacy assessment. And then in grade 12, they must do the um, English 12 assessment. These are all required by the uh, provincial government and this is every school in British Columbia. This is the exact same format, um, just shown in a slightly different way. Please notice in grade 10, uh, students have to have English, Social Science, Math, PE, Career Ed, uh, and then they have two elective courses. Because of the way GW Graham delivers their, their um, career education, students in grade 10 actually get three elective credits. In grade 12, students must complete English 11, Math 11, Science 11, and Social Studies 11 or 12. If they wish, they can put it off to grade 12. Then they have four elective courses and, of course, career ed. In grade 12, English 12 and career ed are the only required grade 12 courses, but students also need to have three, uh, at least three grade 12 electives, one of which must be at the grade, uh, must be a social studies course, and then they can have more elective credits. Please note that the requirements are all in red, and this will meet the minimum requirements for graduation. However, that may not be enough to get the student where they want to go for their career plans. Here's a copy of the uh, course selection form for grade 11. Um, students will be required to take one English course, one social studies course, one science course, and one math course. They can put off the social studies course until the following year, but why would you do that? Uh, additionally, students need to have uh, four elective uh, courses. They need to give us that information. Three alternates, just in case. If a student is interested in outside the timetable courses, please put that in the spot provided. Parents and students must sign the form. And in the box that you see right here, that's where a student would put the in additional information that they think the counselor needs to know, such as they're interested in a specialty program like trades or the film production course or the baking or canine, something that is not able to be fit in any of these boxes out here. Graham offers many, many academic opportunities, and we're asking that students take the time and effort to look through the course catalog so that they can see what's, uh, what's available for them. Uh, English is actually not an elective. It is a requirement. However, students have a variety of different options available for them. Please uh, confer with your English teacher, your English 10 teacher, or um, look in the course catalog to get some information as to which of the English 11 uh, courses would, be, would fit you best. Uh, the English 11 courses that are available, English First People's Literary Studies and Writing, English First People's Literary Studies and Writings Elaborations, which is an honors course, and good prep for um, advanced placement lit studies in grade 12, and English First Studies, First People's Literary Studies and New Media. These courses can be explored in detail in the course catalog. Um, 
the indigenous content that I mentioned, which is a requirement for students who are going to graduate in 2024, is met at GWGram in all of our English 11 courses. Math, which is required to graduate at the grade 11 level, has lots of different options available. Um, when you're deciding which course, which math course you want to take, um, please, please make sure it is the appropriate one for you with your career plans. If you're not sure what that means, confer with your math teacher, confer with your parents, check with your counselor, or you can use my blueprint, which offers some information for that. There is lots of information in the course booklet. And if you have any questions, once again, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, this information can be found directly in the in the uh, course planning outlet, or pardon me, booklet, and it is good information so you can know what courses you should be taking further on. All students must choose one science um, at the grade 10 level, and then they, from grade 10 science, which is a standard science, they, they're going to pick any of the grade 11 courses. These are now specialized, so we have chemistry, including honors, life sciences, which is biology, including honors. Students can also take anatomy and physiology even before they take the life science, physics 11, earth science 11, and science for citizens. All of these meet the graduation requirement. Um, however, if you're planning on going into sciences, you'll likely need a science at the grade 12 level, possibly even more than one. And if you're interested in advanced placement courses, then you need to plan ahead. And that's something that the counselors need to be aware. Check with your science teacher or read the course booklet if you have any further questions. Graham offers a wide variety of uh, senior social studies electives. Students can take as many as they want. They must take at least one, uh, but they can take more than that if they wish. So Graham offers, a, we have 10 different options for social studies. All of these are accepted by universities. All of the grade 12 social studies courses are accepted by universities as an academic elective. Options that you can explore our explorations in social studies 11 which is a sort of an exploratory honors course we also have comparative cultures comparative world religions contemporary indigenous studies genocide studies law studies philosophy physical geography social justice 20th century world history all of this information can be found in the course catalog and you're welcome to talk to your social studies teacher or your counselor about this Advanced placement courses are courses that are offered typically when a student is in grade 12. They are sponsored by the College Board in the United States, and they are an opportunity to get uh, the option for a first year college or university course while still in high school. Uh, you can, depending on how well you do in the course, get university credit, uh, and you're going to focus on academic rigor, advanced lab techniques, 21st century learning, post-secondary preparation, and GWGram offers a variety, depending on um, courses we'll run if we have enough students interested. We have uh, Advanced Placement 2D Art and Design, Advanced Placement Biology, Advanced Placement Calculus, Advanced Placement Chemistry, and Advanced Placement um, English. Uh, you talk to Ms. Parecki about the 2D Art and Design. This is a portfolio-based program, and students can start taking that in their grade 11 year. Uh, advanced Placement Literature and Composition. This Students can get credit for up to three courses, which is 12 credits, and is designed for students who love literature and are willing to spend a lot of extra time working on their English um, skills. Advanced Placement Biology is for students who may be interested in the health sciences. This is a first year university course that can offer up to eight high school credits. Um, and it is something that uh, is for people that are really passionate about biology and life sciences. Advanced placement chemistry is like chemistry 12 uh, advanced. <laughs> uh, so you could take your chemistry 12 course plus an additional um, uh, emphasis on kinetics, thermodynamics, thermochemistry, gas laws, and spectroscopy. This is preparation for the exam in May. Uh, there's lots of opportunities for labs and is designed for students who are pursuing a career in sciences, technology, um, 
uh, engineering and mathematics. To prepare for the AP courses, it's not a bad idea to take the um, honors courses in the grade 11. That's not required, but it's again, not a bad idea. Um, just be prepared that there will be some reading, um, possibly even over the summer between grade 11 and grade 12. So just try to be prepared for that. Uh, there will be a fair bit of homework and a significant amount of rigor. Be prepared to work hard and to prioritize your school if you're taking an AP course. Calculus 12 versus Advanced Placement Calculus 12. They have the same curriculum and they do have a possibility for getting university credit. Calculus 12 is assessed at a high school level with a school-based final exam and AP Calc is assessed at a university level for, an, for a university AP exam. Depending on what your career path is or what your passion is, uh, you can take either course and that will get you into university. If you want to maybe um, get some credit, then AP Calculus may be an option for you. Please talk to your math teachers about this. They are the best source of information. Additional grad assessments, the literacy assessment, the numeracy assessment um, are in grade 10. So hopefully by the end of grade 10, you've completed all these. Then you have the literary assessment in grade 12. If you haven't got these done, you will not graduate. These are graduation requirements. Work experience is an excellent opportunity to get credits for a job that you have, get some volunteer hours so you can start building up your resume. Please see Ms. McConnell or Ms. Wiseman for information and pay attention to the announcements so you can find out how you can access this information. Course planning happens in February. Please make sure you are paying attention to all the announcements and accessing the information on the school website. You will be required to enter your selections onto your MyEd account um, in the following week or so, so make sure you can log into your MyEd. These course selection forms will be submitted to the school, so we'll have a digital copy and a hard copy. Take a picture of your course selection form before you hand it in so you have a copy too. Uh, the GWGRAM website is, um, if you scroll down, you'll see the course planning booklet. If you click on that, then it'll take you to the link so you can um, get all this information in a PDF searchable document. So when you're completing your course selection forms, please remember these courses are all about you. You need to complete the yellow course selection form with the four required courses, so English, science, math, and social studies if you choose to take it this year. Additionally, you have four elective courses, three alternate second choices. Provide us with a comment if you think we need to know. If you're interested in the work experience program or you have a job, please check off the box. Get your parents to sign it so we know that you've had the conversation with your parents. Take a photo of your course selection form. You're gonna enter your request into my ed. And you're going to submit the actual paper copy to your teacher on February 21st. I'm heading into, you're heading into grade 11. Where do you need to start? Actually, believe it or not, start planning that you're heading into grade 12. So please make sure you are starting to take advantage of all the different opportunities and information that are available on the school, especially with our career advisors. We have an excellent online presence and you need to spend a little time looking into that. If you have any questions, the Career Center is room C239, and you can talk to Ms. Um, Carrie Lynn Harry or Ms. Sherry Bottenheimer if, if you have questions. Uh, grade 10 Career Life Education interviews are ongoing. Ms. Bottenheimer uh, plans to meet with all grade 10 students before the end of grade 10, especially those that are interested in trades. Reminder, Career Life Education is a grad requirement. If you're not successful in this course in grade 10, you will be required to do it in grade 11. If you have any questions, please reach out to your counselors. Um, Mr. Price for students whose last name A through F, Mr. Pickering for last names whose students are G through M, and Ms. Hancock for the last students whose last name is O through Z. Counselors will be in the, um, the computer lab in C183 um, all of the week of February um, 13th to 16th for any students that have need any help or have any specific questions. Please um, feel free to ask us for any questions that you have. Check with your teachers, check with the course planning booklet, and check with your parents. 
and see um, so that you can make some great decisions moving forward.